Following applying for the role, potential recruits undergo several processes, including physical tests, medicals, fitness tests, and interview, and then selection. Recruits are then employed and enrolled onto the recruits course. Learning starts some six weeks prior to attending training centre, where recruits are coached and supported in many of the technical aspects, but also including some initial practical elements. Recruits then move on to modules one and two of the programme, which covers how to operate pumps and safely pitch ladders. Before any training commences, recruits are first taught how to drill by numbers. This forms the basis of all modular input within the course. Drilling by numbers assists recruits in remembering their role when performing certain tasks. Recruits then start their journey at Training Centre, where from day one they are seen getting straight into the thick of it, hitting the drill ground running. The first four days see the recruits learning the basics, which include numbering off, parading, being inspected and understanding the key role of a firefighter on the incident ground. They also learn the important skills of safety pitching the various types of fire service ladders that are used in the modern fire service and within Hurricane Buster Fire and Rescue Service. These skills are reinforced by repetition, ensuring the safe and effective performance of our firefighters. Making use of the variety of training facilities around Hereford and Worcester, recruits benefit from new challenges and different working environments, helping to simulate the range of diverse incidents that they will be called upon to attend throughout their career. The recruits are seen learning the basic but essential skills of delivering and maintaining water for firefighting purposes, again drilling by numbers, further compounding the importance when required to perform in highly stressful and complex rescue situations. Combining these two newly acquired skills, recruits can now perform more comprehensive and technical drills, both utilising ladders and pumps together.
Bonding is an essential part of forming a team. The recruits spend time together reflecting and discussing what they have learned. They soon go on to realise the critical function and role that teamwork plays within the fire service. It is no surprise to know that the number of road traffic collisions we attend is on the rise. The troops have initial input into scene safety and a comprehensive awareness of the procedures, skills and techniques used to ensure firefighter safety and a successful rescue of any casualties. They learn about the golden hour and survival rates and how the part that they play has a significant impact on this. Working closely with other blue light services, they understand the statutory requirements the fire service has to attend road traffic collisions and the benefit of the professionalism and well-trained service we provide to our communities. Up until now, recruits have learned how to perform external firefighting and rescues using ladders and pumps in combination. Another large part of the role is learning about internal compartment firefighting and search and rescue skills and techniques. They learn the importance of equipment maintenance and testing, ensuring breathing apparatus is fully functional and ready to use at any incident that they attend. Crews go on to learn how to search and maintain safe passage in and out of buildings that are on fire, understanding and conditioning themselves to the hostile environment created by heat and smoke. Recruits are taught the necessary skills of how to operate safely in these conditions. They learn how to monitor breathing apparatus wearers and how to communicate effectively, 
ensuring the optimum use of resources, but above all, the safety of all firefighters at the incident. Following the successful completion of the Phase 1 course first course, the troops will now go on to join their stations, putting into practice their newly learned skills, helping to make a difference every day.